welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon, PS5, PS4, HD upscale. That name is getting to be quite long. I think I'm going to shorten it. Anyway, let's hop in as always. This episode is going to be, well, it's going to start off a little slower. Uh, our first order of business is to head back uh, to Celis. Now that things have calmed down, we need to take Shauna home. And then we'll head for Hoax or Hoax or however you want to pronounce it. Ah, Martel. This is a very important character. We'll be uh, checking in with her. She's the one who gives us rewards for Stardust. Minor spoiler, I guess. It's not really a story mechanic. It's a completely optional function of the game, but there's some good stuff to be had. So I find it absolutely worth gathering Stardust to bring to her. Oh, what's this goopy guy? Slime. Well, yes, that that makes sense. Standard battle, nothing exciting. Although, not having anything to do with that battle, but I do want to take a look at my additions. Um, okay, two more uses of Volcano and it'll level up. I should get back on Double Slash. You don't need to level them up in order, but... Um, in order to unlock everyone's final edition, their master level edition, you do need to have 80 uses of each. Um, well, each of all the previous ones, of course. The master edition, you can get, you can use as much as you want. It doesn't unlock anything else. But it's generally really powerful. I am going to do one battle per screen, as usual just to keep the addition usage flowing. That'll become a little more important once I get my dragon spirits here shortly. Okay, that's 60 harpoons, so harpoon should have just leveled up, but that won't take effect until the next battle. So when I use harpoon again, it'll be the same damage. Okay, I need one more volcano. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and have Lavitz guard, just so Dart can get that volcano leveled up. Here we go. Sweet. Okay, that should be 60 uses of, I think, both now? Harpoon and a Volcano. Harpoon I will stay with until I have 80. Uh, then we'll go to Spinning Cane. And Volcano... Actually, I think I want to go back to Double Slash. Double Slash is significantly weaker, but I don't want to neglect it. Yeah, so Harpoon just hit 60. Next will be 80. Now it counts up to 99. There's no need to go to 99 on any particular editions, but... That's just where the counter stops. 
80, 80. That's all you really need. Come on. One battle. There we go. Ugh, one of those floating boil guys. Yes. Double, <laughs> Double slash seems plenty powerful to me. Ew, he touched me. Here's your uh, episodely reminder that if this game seems in the slightest bit interesting to you and you have a PS4 or PS5, please go and either download it if you have PS Plus Premium or buy it if you have 10 bucks that you can afford. Um, we really want to show Sony that uh, this is a good start, but we want more because it's good. It's really good that we got this. Don't get me wrong. I'm still thrilled to bits, but the upscaling just, it looks really bad in some places if I'm honest. Like battles look pretty good for the most part. But it's like I keep talking about on the overworld, their faces just melt and contort and like undulate and polygons flicker in and out looks like they have holes in their faces sometimes it's just it's so distracting so this is good yes but give me better and i will pay for it again sony are you listening no i know you're not i only get like 20 views per episode and that's a good episode is if i get 20 not complaining, I'm just saying Sony ain't watching me. <laughs> Maybe I'll try putting some copyrighted music in. Then they'll look at me. They'll shut me down, but they'll look at me. Oh, not this way. I need to go south from that other screen. I think I may have skipped a screen or two battle-wise, so... This is fine. I will take this extra uh, fight. I kept trying to say this extra combat. I was like, wait, no, no, that's not the right word. Come on, Chrono, there's a real word for this. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I wonder if I should have gone to Hoax first. Because I think that's where the boss battle happens, where you get your first Dragoon Spirits. And I could have been grinding SP. Uh, grinding SP on the, and uh, Dragoon Experience on this return trip to Celis, but it doesn't matter that much. If need be, I am quite willing to grind a bit between episodes. I did that in the previous series before I uh, was startled by this HD remake out of nowhere. Uh, remaster. No. Upscale. <sighs> remake and remaster are what I want. Either one. If you're going to remaster it, make sure the polygons don't contort. And if you're going to... Uh, remake it like leave the voice acting honestly i love the camp i love the cheese um it makes me cringe but i love it but for goodness sake make the graphics look a little more polished in hd 
they looked really good i gotta say on uh ps1 oh boy when you had that um expectation that it was going to be output through a lower quality video source than hdmi and uh, crt tvs so it didn't display perfect crystal clear sharpness um you didn't have the crunchy pixels, you know, it all blended into actual art. Um, or the actual art isn't the right way to phrase that, but you know what I mean? Like it looked good because it was intended to be blended rather than pixel by pixel perfect. So yeah, a remake would uh, would solve that. Remaster might still look like this. But we'd have things like the character portraits wouldn't be pixel art anymore. And hopefully they would fix the face thing that I keep talking about. If you haven't watched one of my videos on this before, um, this is not a good example to show on this screen because Dart's kind of far from the camera. But uh, look at that guy's face. It's a little... It changes and it, it looks a bit uncanny. Especially from certain angles. And... Um, this way duh what am i doing if you watch my previous episode there's a short sequence where king albert walks from the throne up to um the spot where he can talk to the party are you seeing this guy's face now anyway and king albert's face like wibbles and wobbles and contorts look there part of his face is missing there's a polygon that's just like behind something else for some reason so yeah that's the the face melting that I'm talking about. It's not cool like heavy metal music face melting. It's just like literally their faces look like they are actually melting. And ugh. poor Shauna half the times looks like she's swallowed her bottom jaw. <laughs> Makes me real curious uh, to see how a couple of the other characters are going to look later on. A certain character in particular who's a very large man. Well, not a man because he's not human. He's a gigantos. His name is Kongol, and we'll be fighting him a couple of times. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see him in upscale. Boy, all of this running just makes me realize how far from Solus we actually are. Okay, this fight will be wildly uninteresting. Literally only here to get plus one on my additions. <laughs> On the way back, I'm just going to run um, and take the battles as they come. Because honestly, this is getting a little cumbersome. In fact, maybe I'll just do that on the way to Celis as well. Not do the one per screen for the moment. Dart did level up. And I did level up a couple of my additions. So I've successfully done what I wanted to in terms of uh, leveling up mechanics. 
There's no need to drag it out. If I wanted to drag on Dragoons, I'd be playing Drag on Dragoon, known as Drakengard here in the West. Okay, a fight like this I appreciate a little more because I'll get multiple edition uses out of it. Shauna doesn't need to attack. Oh, the moles are still tough, I see. That's good. Because, it, again, addition usage. I cannot drive home enough how important additions are in this game. They're the way to do optimal damage for most characters. Um, for Shauna and for one or two other characters later, uh, spell items are the way to go. But for physical attackers like Dart and Lav, it's additions, additions, additions all day long. Um... And they're how you will level up your Dragoons later on, when you get that ability. This is the path that I wanted. Whoops. Sorry about that. Slip of the thumb. So, uh, let's see what to talk about in the meantime. Uh, this week, well, I'm recording this ahead of time, so by the time you watch this, it'll be last week. I've been playing Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe on my Switch. That's a lot of fun. I enjoyed Kirby's Return to Dreamland on Wii U quite a bit. Um, was that Wii U or was that Wii? I think it was Wii U. Anyway, Kirby games are always, you know, fun Cute, easy, good time, very relaxing to play. Um, lots of bright colors. Very, uh, just a soothing and exciting kind of at the same time. It's an interesting mix. Uh, so far, I've done one of the bonus content things, Magoland. Um, so one of the characters opens a theme park, and it gives you an achievement set. I did the first 100 achievements, and then they gave me 20 more. And it finally unlocked the actual hard mode achievements. Whew, some of those are going to be real challenging to do. Even in terms of a Kirby game. Whoa. I had my thumb pointed the wrong way for half a second and I'm halfway to hell in a prison. So anyway, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Uh, there is a mode after the story, apparently. Um, let's see, today is February 28th as I'm recording this to give you an idea of how far ahead of schedule I am. Uh, I've only finished the first two main levels, or main worlds, whatever, of the map and the Magoland theme park first achievement set. But I'm really looking forward to the second story mode afterwards. So apparently you play as Magalore, one of the other characters. And you don't have any of your powers. So as you go, you have to like build and unlock things. Um, by build, I mean unlock things to build your character and your powers back up. So sort of like an action RPG in a way. And that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because I love Kirby-style games and I enjoy action RPGs, so give me a mix of the two and I think I'll be a happy camper. Let's see if I remember the way out of this forest or if I'm going to be wandering forever. Well, as I say that, I found the way through, so. Red arrow, let's clear that out. Go ahead and get an encounter. Probably. <laughs> that was a long red arrow. That's how I feel in traffic. Sitting at this red light forever, man. I just want to go. Nah, I'm actually a more patient driver than that. I don't mind red lights. Yes. 
If I'm in such a hurry that I don't want to sit at a red light, I either desperately need the restroom or I have failed to plan ahead and leave on time to make my trip um, have enough time for the drive. I say that half jokingly because I do have a toddler and sometimes even when you leave on time the toddler decides that you're going to leave late because they want to go running up the driveway <laughs> or something and they're out of your control before you can even notice. It's wild having a three-year-old. He's pretty good, pretty well behaved, but impulse control is not really a thing at that age, so sometimes he just zooms off in some random direction. Thankfully, he's really good at stopping when you call him. So if he's ever running towards something dangerous, like if we're in the park and he's running towards the street, we just have to, you know, shout his name and he'll stop and turn around and look at us and see what we want. So <laughs> that's a nice little uh, survival instinct, I guess, that got programmed into him. Okay, I've brought back Shauna. Let's see what they all have to say. Oh, Shauna. I mean, we told you it was destroyed, but to see it with your own eyes is something different entirely. <sighs> I can't even imagine what that must be like. Not only has my village never been destroyed, nor have I ever lived in a village, I've never been an 18-year-old girl. I, I'm a dude. I, I identify as cis male, so... I can't take the sad scene seriously when Dart's face looks like that, though. Oh, there we go. That looks better. Yeah, that's, uh, I like that. Like I said, I haven't ever actually finished this game, so... I hope that they do come back, Shauna and Dart. Oh, your grandpa's dead, kid. Sorry to say. See, this is where we came in, right? So I can't actually get any further than this screen. Let's walk around and talk to a few more people if we can. Yes, Shauna's alive. She's right in front of you. Oh. I smell a side quest. Oh my gosh, that is really good to hear. I actually thought that most of the people in Solace died, because I haven't... Well, I came back in the other uh, run, but... I didn't um, talk to everybody like this. So it's really good to hear that they found so many survivors. Okay, Celis, we have a journey to go on, a world to save, a war to end, and a black monster to find. Um, Dart and his oddly pulsating chest will return after all of that. Let's go. Well. 
I almost copied another YouTuber there when I said let's go. Um, there's this guy I watch. I don't usually plug a lot of other YouTubers, but if you like traveling and seeing foreign countries from the perspective of another foreigner who's not, well, unless you're Japanese, because this guy's Japanese, uh, George Japan. He goes to a lot of different countries. He's traveling around the world right now and recording his experiences like eating and uh, going to events and getting haircuts and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Kind of a travelogue, sort of. And he's got some older works, too. Like, he's got one that's like, Japanese guy reacts to kanji tattoos. That's really funny. Um, yeah, check him out if you like that kind of stuff. Anyway, he always says, let's go, when he cuts to another scene, when they're about to do something like go into a restaurant. So, uh, I almost said it George Japan style. But I don't want to copy the guy. I don't necessarily need to drive viewership to him either. Although, again, I, please go watch him. He's great. But he does have 400,000 subscribers, so he's doing quite well. And he deserves it. His channel's wonderful. He actually went to a couple countries uh, with his mother recently and filmed their adventures. And that was just so wholesome and like heartwarming oh man good stuff okay i only took one wrong turn going through the forest this time i think that's pretty decent But yeah, one thing that I really liked recently as he's been going to all these different countries is he's learned how to say let's go in all the um, local languages. Like vamos. Or sorry, excuse me, spelled with a V, but it's vamos. Um, in Portuguese. And was it Arabic, I think, is yala. But it's always let's go. Right now he's in Britain, and uh, let's go in, uh, 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 what do you call it, Britain English, I guess, proper English, not American English, is, you know, let's go. Th there's no other words for it. It's an English phrase being translated into English, so. Yes. Allow us to proceed. Henceforth we shall sally with. Henceforth we shall sally forth. I don't, I don't know. I'm making stuff up now. Okay. Mr. Lavitz has yet another addition. He gets a lot really early. It's hard to keep up on his additions if you want to max them all out as you go. It can be done, but it gets grindy. Um, so I don't. <laughs> I usually... Well, when I say usually, in my last run... The one time I actually grinded out additions, uh, I waited until I had a bunch unlocked, and then I took some time between episodes, and sat down and made a little sheet of paper, and marked down how many I used so I could keep track. And yeah. Put on some YouTube, uh, true crime, listenable stuff, iceberg videos, stuff like that. Stuff where I could, you know, just glance over at my other monitor if I needed to see what iceberg topic was being talked about. And just uh, got the additions done. So I'll probably do that again at some point um, in this series. But I won't do it on camera because that's boring. Heck, what you're seeing here today might be a little bit boring, but it is, I think, important to see that Celis scene where Shar Shar Sharna, Sharna and Darn and Dune Dane, and there goes my speaking skill, where Shauna and Dart decide to come back and rebuild Celis after they're done. 
I don't know if that's a flag in the video game for anything, like if it's a story point later. But just like lore wise, I feel like that's something that's important to the overall world building and character building. Dart and Shauna are so stupid for each other, even if Dart doesn't realize it. And that's just another, like, Dart being wholeheartedly devoting to, devoted to Shauna without realizing that he is. Don't worry, friends. That plot point will be thoroughly explored later. I'm sure that many of you watching are either intimately familiar with the game and or watched my last series uh, as far as it went. So, you know that Dart and Shauna uh, have a lot of character development ahead. But yeah, for those who are new to the series, hi, welcome, glad you're here, and yes, Dart and Shauna will be explored. Quite well, too. I guess it's not trite, it's not... Um, it doesn't become blasé, like they have a really interesting back and forth dynamic. Uh, although it is hampered a bit by the very rough translation, we'll still enjoy it. Hello, Lucas the Spider. There's another cute one to look up, Lucas the Spider. Unless you're arachnophobic, of course. Um, don't do something that's going to make you uncomfortable. If you are arachnophobic, rest assured we're going to kill this spider really quick. But if you can deal with spiders and you like cute things and you haven't seen it, uh, Lucas the Spider. Cutesy little CGI series about a big-eyed spider who's just the friendliest, happiest little guy. There's nothing dark or unexpected about it. It's just wholesome. Uh, this way. There we go. Almost went the wrong way. You know what? While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Rock Fireflies to heal up. We've taken a few hits here and there, and a couple of us have gained levels. Now in this game, when you level up, you don't get the HP that you gained upon level up. So if you had, let's say, 100 HP, so you're at 100 out of 100, you level up and your HP is now at 150, you would be at 100 out of 150, which is very silly to me because you don't take damage on leveling up so why are you missing HP it should be however much you gained should be refilled like if you are at 50 out of a hundred and your total went up to 150 then you should be at a hundred out of 150 right I'm not looking for a full HP restore on level up just give me what I got <laughs> so minor complaint about this game really weird that it doesn't do that like really weird I can't think of any other games offhand that do that but to be frank level ups in this game are fairly rare um, you generally only get them after bosses or after very long grinding sessions because the exp from regular battles just trickles in Real slow. Which in a way is nice. Uh, this is a game that if you don't want to, you don't have to grind. You can just run through it and pretty well succeed. Um, it's more about having the right items on hand for boss fights. Having the right restoratives, using the right dragoon magic, 
uh, if you're going to use Shauna or one of the other magic users, having the right attack items in your bag. That sort of thing. Um, using speed up and power up, which are permanent items that we'll get later. Ooh, blinding flash. Okay. As I said a couple episodes ago, every time I use rock fireflies, I'm going to call that an unofficial save point and use a save state. So that's what I just did. Although, I'm a QA by trade, like my day job is running software QA. So I become like naturally curious about bugs. Since we're no longer on the buggy version, thank you again, Sony. Love the patch. Um, I wonder what would have happened if I loaded that save state from the buggy version and proceeded from there. I should have saved into another slot so I could load a, a buggy version state into the patched version uh, running environment yes. just to see what would happen. Oh, so Dart missed that attack. That's uh, fairly uncommon. Okay. Back on track now. Yes. <laughs> Dart didn't miss, but I did. Uh, not very often I miss a single hit addition, but there it was. You know, it's not a completely unheard of or anything. Sometimes I just don't got it, you know? We all have those days, moments. So this ended up taking more than half of the episode. Oh, goodness me. We'll see how far we get towards hoax. Hoax. I don't like either of those pronunciations, and I promise to never do the throat clearing awful version that I did last time. It's like, I can't come up with a good way to pronounce this upcoming city. Honestly, hoax just sounds the best to me. Hoax is like really try hard. And it sounds like garden tools. I got my hoe, I got my axe, I got my shovel. I'm ready to plant me a geranium. It's a random flower. I don't know, I just thought geranium sounded funny. My favorite flower is actually the pansy. I just like how many colors they come in. And the big broad petal face looks so nice. I planted a absolute truckload of pansies in Animal Crossing. Well, in New Leaf and in uh, New Horizons. Those are the two that I've played. I felt like a latecomer to Animal Crossing when I started playing New Leaf fairly far into the game's life cycle. But now I feel like uh, an old veteran at it. I haven't played any of the GameCube, DS, Wii versions, any of those, but definitely a magnificent series. Alright, Red Arrow, give me one more battle before we go. Slimes. Icky, yucky, goopy, gross. I don't have anything against their existence or anything. They're just in my way, so they're trying to kill me. I gotta try and kill them right back. 
The only difference is our odds of success, which are, excuse me, staggeringly stacked in my favor. Ah, made it without getting to red arrow. I generally feel bad if I leave an area with a red arrow. Okay, now we're at a crossroads. I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to make a real save. And we will then continue on towards hoax. I'm just going to pretend that it's spelled like H-O-K-E-S or something. Hoax. H-O-E-K-S would be hoax. Um, oh no, not save slot one, save slot two. There we go. That's the temporary save in case my power goes out or something in the second half. And random battle time. Show me a yellow bird. Mm, don't think so. Nope. Oh, Dart, uh, not Dart, Lavitz had a condition. Did that get cleared up? It looks like it. Yeah, he's not... He doesn't have any conditions now. We're good. I think it was despiriting anyway, which is like... <laughs> doesn't matter before you have your Dragoon Spirits. Dragon Spirits. I always want to call them Dragoon Spirits, but it's Dragon Spirits that enable a Dragoon transformation. It's all about that number of O's. Because one oxygen with two hydrogens is water, but one oxygen with two more oxygens is ozone. So, you know, one O good, three O's bad. It's all about the number of O's. The bigger the bowl of Cheerios, the fuller your stomach will be. It's all about the number of O's. I'm gonna stop making those comparisons because they're getting dumber and dumber. Also, is it just me or is start wearing blue jeans with stuff like safety pinned to them? Like blue jeans and knee pads. He looks like me roller skating when I was seven. I just noticed that those look like blue jeans and that sort of bothers me in a fantasy setting for some reason. Well, anyway, here we are in hoax. more of a fortress but yeah <laughs> well I must have subconsciously remembered what she said last time sounds good to me Lavitz um, do, do, do. I guess I'll go on the yellow one first. That usually means in. And in sometimes means sturdest. This guy wants to go shopping at Lindsay Lohan's store. <laughs> I don't think I found that one last time. It's not time to be lying in bed. It's always time to be lying in bed. I'm a lazy bone. Whoops, I didn't actually mean to do that this time. Oh, he said something else, though. But the Marsa Road on the way to Lohan is blockaded by Imperial soldiers. Okay. Um, 
sure. We may as well. We've taken a few little hits, so get those HP restored. Another angel's prayer. Need to sell off a couple of those, actually. Oh yeah, and back in here to continue looking around, poking around. Used to be protected against animals, and now it's used to stop people. Yeah. We always have something to fight about. Always find something to fight about. I can find things to fight about, which is, you know, a frustrating thought, but like, there are things that I would fight to defend. Might lose. I'm not very strong. I'm a nerd. But, uh, I would, you know, fight to defend what I would need to defend, uh, as much as I am able. Okay. Philosophy aside, back to the game. Oh, we're famous now, are we? I thought it was Sandora, and the Sandoras were the people from Sandora. Eh, who knows with this translation. Yeah, the dragon concerns me too. Yeah, I always look forward to home cooking. Why? Yeah, I was going to say, the food we had at Lavitz's seemed real good, and Shauna helped with that, so... Lavitz! Well, of course not, Shauna. Oh, Dart, you're so clueless. Tell her you're sure it'll be delicious. That's all it takes. Show her you have faith in her. That's all you gotta do.
Oh, look who's talking, mister. I'm concerned about the food being edible. Heck off. All right. That was uncomfortable. Let's go look. <clears throat> Excuse me, where'd my voice go? Let's go look around a bit more. It's a trial from a god, but you're not going to name your god? Oh, Miss Gilda, huh? An indescribable statue in the back of Volcano Villud. We'll need to keep that in mind. Wink, wink. Oh, kiddo. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever helps, you know? If that's where you find comfort, then be comforted. I'm not going to begrudge a child their hopes and dreams. But I don't think God is going to save you from agony. I think God gave us free will so that we can do just that. You're not going to magically get better because you pray. You're going to need to go to the doctor who God gave free will to get educated. So that they could help you. That's my quick and dirty stance on religion. God might save us in the afterlife, but in this life, we got free will, man. We got to do our own thing. Otherwise, why would we have it? You can pray to God to smite your enemies, but he won't. You don't want to go smite your enemies either. You need to do something else about it. You might pray to God to save you from, you know, whatever sickness you have, but he probably won't. That's, that's why he gave us free will, so we could educate ourselves and learn how to heal one another. The power of humans came from the power of God, so, like... It's not blasphemy to go to a doctor when you're sick. You're not saying, I don't have faith in God. You're saying, I have faith in the wisdom that God bestowed on to people to help me be better. I don't know. Like I say, quick and dirty view of religion. This is not the channel for it. Point is, if a little kid wants to believe that, I'm not going to begrudge a little kid of their faith. That's not cool. We're uh, just gonna win this war and then they can have their deep existential questions later. That's uh, interesting. Puts you in the mood to do it. Do what? This is a barracks. You filth. By do it, you better mean get a good night's sleep and give it your all tomorrow. Money. Oh, seems to be this is a storage room. Are they... Well, okay, I'm out of here, I guess. I was going to say, are they storing any stardust in here? Lady, how do you get in and out? You're literally barricaded in. One fine fireplace. That's funny. No stardust? Okay. Oh, it's Gilda. The one who delivered King Albert. Well, you just assume things because you're a midwife, huh?
Some interesting history here for anyone who's into the lore. I'll keep that in mind. I feel like there's a couple that we'll meet later in this game who I know we helped them get together and get married and you know what they say about first comes love first comes marriage I'm not even gonna finish the rhyme because it's so stupid and embarrassing and dumb but you know what that happened for me and my wife so anyway if as part of that game side quest I need a midwife. I will remember where she is. It's no hoax. She's in hoax. Kind of out of the way, too. Like, I had to really run all over to get there. Alright, well, not quite sure exactly what I need to do next to uh, further trigger the events of the story to continue, but I think I go talk to Lavitz again, or maybe Kaiser. Or both. Alright, well, we'll let the scene play out a bit, but we're going to wrap it up pretty soon. We're pretty much at the hour mark here. Uh, just a little bit short of that. So as soon as I can... After this scene, we will save and end. By the way, um, this is a nice little touch. When you're running, it will make you walk when you go upstairs like that or down. Well, yeah, a couple of reasons. It's quiet and a dragon would be very loud. And as Dart says, the owls. It's a bit quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear the game audio. But the owl cry is fairly piercing. The owl stopped, and there was a fluttering of wings.
Here we go. How's this for a thrilling end of the episode? There's just a couple of Imperial Sandoras here. We can take these guys, right? In retrospect, I should have done a save state. Oh well. To uh, keep the episode shorter, I mean. Sandora Soldier, and these guys are red, so they're fire elements, so they would be weak to water, but I don't particularly care. I don't have my water elemental character yet, and uh, they fall to a couple hits of addition anyway. Oh yeah, there we go. A healing potion, because I don't have a zillion of them already. This game really throws healing potions at you early on. Dart, now would be a great time to worry about Shauna. I do. You have my full trust, Lavitz. Oh, doesn't it? Really? You think that two additions, double the damage, is not going to be a problem? At least he's got confidence. I'll give that to the guy. But even fools have confidence. Nice. Not very uh, strong, but it was a cool looking attack. Uh, probably. And does it matter if I don't? Well, it's not that one. But I still get an addition usage out of it. Maybe it's this one. Nope. It's the one on the left. They're not moving position at all, so like... Cool move, but once I learn which one's the real you, then... Yeah. fight could have been a lot more interesting if they shuffled around every turn or something. Possibly also would have been a lot more difficult, so I guess the balance is fine. I wonder what would happen if you used multi-target magic there. Just hit all three of them. Be like, well, the one that damage popped off of is the real one. Oh, maybe I have another chance to find out. Do I have multi-target magic? I should. Pretty sure I bought at least one. I don't really care who uses it, because the point is not the damage amount. Well. 
It is multi though, so of course I'm going to mash and get as much as I can. One eighty-eight. Okay, and the guy on the right is the real one. So yeah, that does work. Oh, what do we have here now? Oh, okay. It's a very flashy attack, but nothing too threatening. You are the real one. And you're dead. Alright. Kind of a cool little boss, I guess. There he is. There's my boy. It's a Giganto, yes. One of the Gigantos. For good reason. Yeah, he's not a dragon, but uh, he ain't no pushover. This is going to be a fun fight. Oh, he looks good. Okay, he upscaled pretty nicely. Face is still melting a little, but I'll accept it. Get some HP back on Dart. And of course he goes for Lavitz instead. That's fine, I guess. Um, I think I'll have Lavitz do this real quick. Alright, now we're good to go. Okay, and Dart still got to block part of that attack. Very nice. This, my friends, is Kongol. We'll be seeing him more than just in this fight. It is pretty straightforward, to be fair. Actually, wait a second. He's Earth, so... Just out of complete curiosity, do I have anything that is wind? I do. I have a spinning gale, but I think I'm going to have Dart use that, because I think Dart has better magic than Lavitz, even though Lavitz element matches. I don't know if there's like same type attack bonus like there is in Pokemon. Uh, Spinning Gale, here we go. And this one is multi, so... Most attack items are multi. Multi means mash X and you get to deal extra percentage of damage. Ho ho! Uh, sure. Confident, ain't ya? Oh, I was early. Messing up an addition. I swear I didn't do that on purpose. Um, Kongol will counter you. Clotheslined. Such a cool move. This dude. This dude has the moves. As always, dark kill steals. Psych. Dark doesn't get the kill.
say what? The main character is a dragoon. Are you kidding me? What an unexpected plot twist. Man, I wish all the characters got an awakening sequence this cool. Man, the dragoon armor looks good upscaled. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. And a new addition for Dart. Uh, yeah. We're humans. A couple of us just have some, uh, Wingy armor superpowers, that's all. If Gigantos don't die, then why are there no other Gigantos? Seeing Shauna's face makes me a little sick. Did not upscale well. Looks okay in this shot. Poor Rose looks like somebody's karate chopping her nose from the inside. Yes, she saved my life. Twice. She's not an important person to me yet, but she did save my life twice, so I feel like we're gonna talk and see what uh, what's going on and move forward from there. But for now, she's saved my life twice. Well, twice in major events, once from a dragon and once from a giganto. Oh, it is Dragoon Spirit. I swear it's Dragon Spirit in some places and Dragoon Spirit in others. This translation is nothing if not inconsistent, though.
So sorry, this episode is going quite long, but we really are uh, not in a place where we can save. <sighs> That's not true, because there's save states now. You look like your armor's phasing through your face. What's your point? Heck yeah, Rose. Knowledge is power. Just learn. I don't care what you learn. Just learn. Well, make sure you learn credible stuff. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Five shadowing. So much shadowing. Foreshadowing. Holy cow, knowing what I know about the story now. Sheesh, this little speech makes a lot different of an impact. You did just now. You asked if you can ask one thing. Yeah. Uh oh, another attack. Oops, sorry, I went through this dialogue a little more quickly than I meant to. This sounds like a job for Superman, I mean, for Dragoons. Ah, uh, 
half of Rose's face has disappeared. Now half of Shauna's face is gone. Maybe I can do it. Ah, oh, their faces all look so derpy, but at least nobody's got holes in them right now. Rude, but also true. So you say. But you might be more help here as a healer. Alrighty, let's get the heck out of town and save. Oh, more dialogue. Goodness gracious. Oh goodness, that's a bit much. Then tell us. Well, me, I guess, because I only have Dart Strike in so far. Oh, combat tutorial. Let's not. This is already like an hour and a half. Let's save state. This is going to be the end for this episode. Next episode, we'll jump right back into this uh, save slot here. So for now, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, it helps the video get seen and the channel to grow. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. I upload episodes of Legend of Dragoon every Tuesday and Thursday. And on Saturdays, I do Dragon Quest Builders too. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications of when I upload a new video. Other than that, once more, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.